all right fam so a quick overview of the game basically uh tom clancy's defiant is a free-to-play fast-paced arena shooter that combines intense gunplay with personalized loadouts and specialized factions all right so currently you're gonna have four different factions to choose from hey what is up my beautiful viewers hope you guys having a great day oh my goodness this video right here i'm about to tell you what i think about this new game it's a closed alpha right now i had the privilege of trying it before uh the closed alpha releases which is uh tomorrow and i'm just gonna go over like what i think about the game personally i'm gonna give you uh, a lot of good because i feel like the game is in a real good spot for an alpha I'm, I'm really looking forward to the weapons the movement the skills you know everything honestly like it has such a call of duty vibe to it and i really really like that i personally enjoy playing cod with my community already so x defiant a universe of division call of duty type game with a bunch of skills and just the synergy and the potential here is absolutely crazy and i'm sure in the future down the line it's gonna be awesome i'm looking forward to the movement I'm looking forward to adjustments and weapons and it's just overall i have such a positive experience so far man and i'm just gonna leave it like this raw and authentic and yo i can't wait for you guys to try this game hopefully you signed up i'll leave a link below if you haven't just so you could uh, try to sign up before tomorrow right so let's get into it i'm gonna go ahead and play some of the gameplay that uh i was given by the developers to show you guys like I said, I'm truly blessed. Thank you to everybody at Ubisoft for thinking about me and for uh, allowing me to show this to my community and to uh, the world, right? So right here, let's go ahead and start and I'll go over from the beginning what the game is, uh, the different classes, the different weapons, everything, okay? So let's get it, baby, let's go. All right, fam. So personalized playstyle. Right here, you're gonna be able to personalize your defiant to match your playstyle. Right? You're gonna be able to choose your faction traits, abilities, and ultras. Select from an arsenal of primary and secondary weapons, attachments, and a device to complete your loadout. So devices are like grenades, and you can choose whichever one you like. Also, you can use any uh, class that you like with any weapon that you like. So that's really, really awesome in my opinion. This time, Classy Defiant offers a variety of competitive 6v6 arena and linear game modes. Who's teaming up with me, man? 6v6, I need a decent squad. We gotta dominate, boys. Such as domination and escort. Combine that with a large pool of uniquely designed maps in rotation and no two matches feel the same. I love the feel of the game so far. I'm a big fan of Tom Clancy's division. And yo, it's just a dream come true that this type of mix is finally here like this call of duty type of uh division vibe for me so i'm really happy i can't wait we'll, we'll see what you guys enjoy in the future so as a uh, teams of gunfighters called defiance battle for domination all right so there's a few different uh type of game modes that you're going to be able to play and uh domination is one of them domination is probably one of my favorite matches overall one team spawns near the zone a another team spawns near c and uh, B is the inevitable battleground of the middle of the map. So we got to all try to basically take over the points, right? So you're going to be able to uh, control points. Escort is another game mode. And in uh, Escort, you're going to have to basically escort a package through a series of checkpoints until you reach the delivery zone, all right? So defenders will prefer that you don't reach that uh, delivery zone. So they're going to try to have to keep you back the whole time and control the area. You know, they're going to be able to do that intelligently with the abilities and the ultras another game mode is zone control and the attackers attempt to capture zones from the defending team if they do more zones open up if the attackers can take all the zones they'll win the match and yeah so i got to play a few different game modes ringleader was one of them and uh in the ringleader it's kind of, it was kind of like a mix of kill confirmed with like king of the hill type that, that's what i got from it so basically you're gonna have to collect all the rings from fallen players and uh the player on each team that has the most rings becomes the leader the leader must survive for 30 seconds to bank their rings and add to their team score so you got to protect your leader when they have you're going to see it on the map it's going to show up like an icon and you know the enemy is going to know where your team where your leader's at too so you know you got to protect them it's going to all be on the map 
All right, I currently see uh, four devices in the game. So frag grenades, they're cookable grenades that explode for damage. EMP grenades, which are my favorite currently. And these grenades disrupt electronics and disable employment of enemy skills. Next, we have a proximity mine, proximity activated explosive mine. Lastly, we have a flashbang grenade, which is a flashbang, you know, blind them and all that when you hit them properly. All right, time to go into the factions. So first off, my favorite faction is the outcast. Okay, so the outcast, I'm going to go from the top to bottom. That means I'm going to start with the ultras, which is like the, the one that takes the longest cooldown and usually is the most effective from each class. Then I'm going to go into the two abilities and the two passive traits of each class. Okay, so first off, like I said, I'll start with outcast because the ultra is called divine intervention. This is basically if you play destiny, this is kind of like a, a solar warlocks. Well, and, and it's absolutely amazing. Okay, it, pre it prevents yourself and nearby allies from dying. Okay, it heals you over time. And then we also have uh, two different abilities here you can choose from. You can only use one at a time, so choose wisely. So this uh, hive is kind of like the division hive where you're going to have two uses out of this hive right here. You're going to get uh, damage to enemies and you're going to be able to heal your allies that are within the radius of this uh, hive. And uh, the skill you can choose is regen boost. This is the one that I use personally. I like to pop this before I engage into uh, a combat or like, you know, if I'm if I'm like taking damage i'll just move around strafe you know crouch move and i'll uh, pop my regen boost to uh provide a burst of healing to myself and nearby allies so if you guys stack up on the outcast healer you're gonna be able to do a lot of damage that's how i was pushing a lot of zones and uh, winning a lot of matches okay doing a lot of damage right here we also have two passive traits which uh dealing ballistic damage increases the healing effect of regen bond and Lastly, we're going to have a regen bond, which heals yourself and nearby allies. But yeah, now we're going over the cleaners and the ultra is called the purifier. So he brings out like a big old flamethrower that ensures enemies are thoroughly sterilized. Okay, it's absolutely crazy. Anybody in that path is just getting blasted. All right, we have two different abilities here that you can choose one. We have a blast turret. So this uh, deploys a mortar turret that auto targets foes. You can uh, tap or hold the ability button to manually target them okay and we also have an incinerator drone so this drone is gonna be like the defender drone in the division and you're gonna be using this drone and it's gonna send a napalm delivering drones ignites everything in the path all right so this is gonna kill people all right i've actually seen a lot of people die to the incinerator drone passive traits we got two big pockets carrying additional device so you're gonna be able to carry that extra frag grenade stun grenade uh mine or emp okay i personally like the emp and i'll be always trying to carry two of those so right here we have uh the last one which is resistance to fire too for the cleaner passive trait it only makes sense i really like that too and uh yeah so i, I played games before where there's fire characters and they're not resistant to fire so you know i'm glad that this game actually got it right we also have another class called wolves and this ultra that they use is called kinetic shell so this gives you a shield that engulfs you and an electric scatter gun an electro scatter gun for close quarter combat i try to get close to one of these dudes i got absolutely booty blasted but i also was able to get close to a different dude that had the ultra up and i was able to kill him so you know just get up in the shell and bounce around shoot them sometimes you'll be able to survive especially if you have like a shotgun or something like that that's going to destroy all right, the two abilities you could choose from here is one is an arc shield. And this is a full body like bulwark shield. If you play division, most of my community is from division. So I'm kind of going off those uh, skills and trying to explain this game, right? So the personal shield, it absorbs ballistic and explosive damage. The shield is so strong and I can't wait to use it. Also mag barrier, which I've gone over in uh my past video this electromagnetic barrier blocks incoming enemy fire and grenades is very powerful very useful to like capture zones or protect different things right and you can also like shoot it ahead of you i really like the way you use the abilities in this game uh passive traits we have two which is fortified and this gives you a health increase due to physical conditioning you get about a uh, 25 health more so pretty useful and uh, last is Blast Suit, which are resistant to explosive damage. And our last class for now is Echelon. 
and this guy has an ultra that gives you sonar vision so kind of like wall hacks you can see everybody across the map so multi-vision goggles reveal enemy player locations to your team so it's like a vsat it's it's amazing man I, I really like it personally so echelon has three abilities you can choose from only one at a time you can use though so renders the agent nearly invisible which is active camo and that one is honestly really powerful i was getting killed by that by that ability i promise you it's so good you also have a pulse dart so this uh sonar pulse shares recent enemy locations with your team and then you have a replicator so generate a holographic duplicate to confuse enemies and it does actually work i was confused i don't know if it's because i was kind of inexperienced in the game but i was honestly confused by the replicator so it's it's a ability that works uh lastly we have the passive traits which is tactical advantage zoomed out minimap provides more situational awareness and uh low profile agents do not appear on the minimap kind of like dead silence you know or ghost from uh call of duty right so i'm gonna personally tell you my opinion of the game i really like the game i think they have a solid foundation to keep building on i love the energy that the devs gave me i love that they want our feedback that they want to try to make this game as enjoyable as they can for us because we got to give them the feedback to make the game like good honestly so give them honest feedback whenever you guys uh play this game and i hope you guys signed up and already got your uh invite right so yeah personally i i enjoy almost everything about the game so far i know it's in early development so i hope like the movement is crispy when the game actually launches and everything is perfect you know i know people are worried about the fov so you do have a fov slider in the game which is a field of view slider that you can uh, adjust and i had mine like all the way and it looked really good as the game evolves they plan on adding more defiance to the game and i'm so happy man i like I like the different range of characters and abilities in this game and i just like what they're doing with the clancy universe uh close test details for tomorrow if you guys don't already know uh it starts on the 5th of august there's gonna be uh five modes in the close test and there's gonna be 10 maps included in this close test okay so you're gonna be able to choose any of the factions that i told you about and i personally suggest the outcasts man they, they're super sick all right and that's all i uh can talk about right now i hope you guys enjoyed the content if you have questions let me know in the comments below i try to answer them the best i can and for real man thank you for all the support ubisoft i love you i feel so blessed so honored to uh make this video and just be able to cover this content for real so hope you guys have fun tomorrow and i'll see you soon thank you guys for watching again much love fam